Hey guys, welcome back to a new day of the vlog. It's a Sunday morning, it's just after 10 o'clock. I've been up since 6, trying to get some work ready for tomorrow, which is work day, a Monday. And that's out of the way. Now I need to make sure that I do my laundry. Last night I actually changed my bedding, but I, actually, I, I couldn't wash it because I'm out of washing powder. I need to go to the shop and get that and come back but when I go to the shops I also want to go I think the shop's name is storage and more yes that's where I bought my storage containers I think it was three three years ago yes um, and I used those to put in my shoes in one and my bags on the other one um, and that has helped so much in terms of making space in the bedrooms so now what i want to do there's quite a lot of things that are in the second bedrooms cupboard or wardrobe that are just all not all over neatly packed but they look very cluttered and i just want to buy those containers so that i can be able to put those things in there and just have big containers and know which um a storage container to look for whatever I'm looking for just to put everything in one place and at the same time have them in one place looking neat so I just hope that I'll be able to get them but if I don't get them I will be on the lookout for those storage containers and I'm also just trying to move around certain things <coughs> so basically I'm trying to free up a lot of space in the second bedroom just for it it's a smaller bedroom and if it's cluttered then it looks extremely small and i don't want that so i'm going to be doing that um i have like a week stand which i'm not i haven't been using in a while so i'm just going to um what do you call it disassemble and put it in a box or in the containers if i get them and yeah whatever i've been saying or i've just said it sounds so a lot for it to be done if it's 10 now and i need to be at home by 12 then and i still need to go to the mall in two hours and i'm still talking it's a lot but let me get going i have started doing some changes i took out the heater in the bedroom let me show you i'll put the camera here so you get a good angle <coughs> sorry so there that's there that's where i've placed the heater it looks fine there to be honest and plus it we we are moving more towards winter now 
it's best that it's closer because we use the heater in the lounge but basically what i'm trying to say i've put the heater there and that's my console there's quite enough space between these two couches so i always try to make sure that i put things there what's currently there it's that heater what you cannot see is my son's scooter or bike and his chair it's down there and that's one thing i love um if you even from where i'm standing i can't see the bike and the chair and that's what i mean by sorting things out neatly you still put things at places where you want to put them but not for people to see yeah so i am going to and if you look on the left i have my phone um tripod there or ring light which i need to disassemble as well what else oh that's my pillows and i need to pack those clothes and this is the bit of what i'm talking about here yeah, in this space this is where the heater was with the ironing board which is going to go back in that space i can put something that can stay here in this space because in this cupboard there is a geezer so it's not a cupboard that will be open and closed most of the time then from this side i'm happy with how things look on this side it's just my work desk in the corner and my son's chest of drawers which is perfectly okay um and this is what i want it must just be these two pieces of furniture a bed and probably just an ironing board and yeah must just be three another space in question i want those containers for these items you see 60 seconds my son's in the car um there's quite a whole lot of things down there this is his mat those alphabet mats and it's like bits and pieces there's a keyboard there's my picnic mat and Thank you. 
doesn't work. But I was just thinking, since the bed is close to the desk, I might as well just sit here when I'm working. and very spacious <coughs> I just took out my Christmas tree from the this looks here I just took out my Christmas tree from inside the wardrobe and my son's beach chair I'm gonna take them home and I'm also thinking if I can find these containers I must buy for at home as well because there's no place that I use as storage as home and it's all because there's enough space at home um, there's plenty of space there's plenty of space but I must just make sure that I don't make that space look cluttered I must just neatly pack and also just put my things in one place you know and knowing that inside those containers they are my items I'm probably also gonna buy for my mom's things as well and then I'm definitely not going to be able to buy if I get them I won't buy all of them today because those are quite big and they won't fit in my car so yeah I feel a bit tired but I'm also just glad that um, there's enough space in this room and yeah this is too huge this is a big space and i do know that if i would put in something here let's just say um side bed or something bedside table or whatever it's just going to look cluttered again oh you know what i'm gonna put let me just go fetch it
later on in the day I haven't I still haven't been to the mall just before I left got a call from my mom I had to go fetch baby because she needed to go somewhere but I just want to show you the final it is so 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 spacious I can't believe it I am so happy so this is from the wardrobe I actually still need to figure out what am I gonna do with this or maybe not let it face this way so I don't know I don't know yet I wanted to put it in between the chest of drawers and my desk but there's not enough space but let's move along I moved this into this room and that plant and that is the bed um, I changed the bed in I just want to wipe the the, the, the blinds they're very dusty <laughs> I can add something on this wall just to give this room um, some color. I don't know. I will see. As that's it for now, as far as this room is concerned, um, it's quarter to two now. At two we are having load shedding and then only at that time i'll be able to then go to the mall and check out the things that i need Mama. Oh, From the mall and that was the quickest I could ever do at a mall with a baby especially with a baby and yeah we went through a lot but uh, we came out my mom's here I actually asked her to come back I'll drop her off tomorrow morning when I go to the office um, I went to pay home and I bought two more other frames and actually, I think if I had waited until Monday afternoon, I was not going to get them at this branch. Bada! Why, Bada? Don't. Please close the door. Anga, please close the door. I also got this storage container. Um, this one is different from what I can do. Close the door, please. I got this one. Um, it is going to fit up with something a bit smaller than what I have. And I like the fact that it's deeper. I didn't want it to be this part inside. I did mention that I'm going to do laundry. So, I got soap. I actually also need to wash this bed's bedding because I changed it too. And that's about it. And I think that's about it for today. Um, it's just going to be laundry and I'm probably just going to be packing what can get into this storage container today and then I'll show you guys when it's done tomorrow. Let me just see what I'm going to eat and or what we're going to eat. Also, um, it's still load shedding. So 
so we still have to wait. It's low shading until 4 actually, and now it's 20 past 4. So, it technically half past 4, but we are so used to knowing that it's going to come back 30 minutes before. But, yeah, and my mom also bought this toothpaste. I use this now, and good pricey. But I do enjoy the feeling and the freshness, freshness that it leaves in my mouth. So last time when she was here, she forgot her toothpaste and then she used mine. And that's when she actually experienced it and she did enjoy it. So she put it and there was a special now, two, four, three. This came and takes, they both have it. And um, at this chem, it's two rand cheaper than Clicks. Clicks sells it for 100 rand. This chem is 98 rand. So she saved four rand and she got a free one. So she has three, which would last because she would be using this alone. So probably by March, April, May. She'll probably buy around June or May. I don't know. Yeah, let's check it out guys. Um Hey guys, I have just finished um, cleaning the kitchen. I still need to put back my coffee machine in that corner and the other things in this corner. But I just wanted to talk about my towels. I cleaned them, can you see? I don't know what I'm not doing right. Um, I th think I need to get a, the right product to clean shiny, shiny uh, towels. And probably use clean cloth, clean, 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 rinsed, clean cloth. Um, that, but for now, that looks okay. Um, I've also just cleaned the countertop. I now need to just quickly clean the stove and I'll get back everything and mop. Laundry is done and yeah it's moving i'm tired i'm really really tired um last night not even last night i slept this morning around one and i had to be up half past five we slept at home with my son and i had to be up half past five and drive back to my place got here to load shedding past six and i slept woke up just before starting work so i can't wait to end off this day and go back to my bed and just sleep because my son i left him with my mom he wasn't feeling too well he slept in the ams because we had to take him to hospital
welcome back to a new day which i think this is probably going to be the beginning of a new vlog and yeah welcome to a new vlog if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back i really 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 appreciate the support that each and every one of you guys have been showing on this channel so um like i mentioned earlier on that i am tired i might not look tired and i'm one person that i may be tired but uh, i will still want to do like to clean up my house if i feel like rearranging things i will do that as tired as i would be and in this case i just decided that let me just make sure that my kitchen is clean because today it's wednesday and i have been feeling very tired since sunday so i have actually not cleaned my kitchen thoroughly i have been washing dishes here and there but to be honest it was just to make sure that these dishes these clean dishes so now i have just like thoroughly cleaned did the laundry well i did laundry yesterday and now it's just the mats that i need to go hang and probably just one small load that i will do and i'm only going to go hang those things after six i think because now it's 10 past two and it is it's extremely hot outside it's 39 degrees at the moment so i'm not gonna expose my body to the heat all in the name of the mats must be dried before the end of the day no i'm gonna wait and now i will have a meeting now half past two that's probably my last um booked meeting for the day and as you would know in between you would be getting calls or i would be making calls um work related now i'm very undecided in terms of what do i want to do i only had a smoothie and i've been drinking some water um but now i need to eat and I just don't want to cook because I am honestly tired but at the same time I want to cook I don't want to do takeaways because I, I actually don't even enjoy takeaways and I don't have a lot of options when it comes to takeaways there was a point in time where I enjoyed burgers so much and obviously with burgers it's gonna be McDonald's KFC uh now and then um what's this place Roca Mama and burger king so and even there i have limited options so it just got so boring for me and i stopped i started with pizza but sometimes you know i'm alone at the moment well even when my son's here he does not eat everything yet so I do feel like pasta that's what I'm gonna say and because I feel like pasta if I am going to do pasta then this time I'm gonna have to create the pesto sauce myself I have all the <clears throat> needed ingredients that I saw online I do know that it's pine nuts but I bought almond nuts to substitute the pine nuts because they were a bit pricey and i need to have basil which is i have and i need to have garlic i forgot the other thing but i do have everything else the only thing i needed to buy was the nuts so i have all of that i might do pasta if not pasta if not pasta then what If I think if not pasta, then I'm just gonna have KFC. I've been enjoying what is it? All Star Box. I have been enjoying it a lot because it gives you a ver like a little bit of everything. Well, not everything, most. Like it has two wings, single wings, 
a piece of chicken um, I think it's the snack bag burger I'm not sure what the name of that burger is and you get your small um, cup drink and I think that sells for 70 rand works out cheaper because takeaways they do cost a lot of money so I might do that but yeah let me just get back to work and see what is going to happen today but all I can tell you when I'm done working I'm going to sleep hard I'm gonna sleep hard I want to book in leave for Friday Friday I'm going to a spa with my mom so on a book and leave, I should do that now. seven o'clock now I'm done working it's just something I'm trying to put together for tomorrow I'm going to the office I don't feel like going to the office to be honest but tomorrow it's Thursday and I think that's the only day I have to go to the office other than Friday because Friday I'm planning tomorrow I'm planning to put in leave for Friday because we're going to the spa and then that means I only have tomorrow to go to the office I regret not going on Monday and I was never going to be able to go on Tuesday and today because I was extremely exhausted the past day and today so um, so when I was done working I decided to do my nails which was an epic fail and this is the second time attempted uh, attempting I don't know if maybe my UV light is getting old and becoming weak or it's the nail polish color that I am so adamant to using it <laughs> but I just want this color so yeah I've only done my nails once this year which was in Jan yes but since then well I went to the salon for that but since then I just can't get my nails right it's either I'm tired, lazy, or I'm just going to have the same issue that I just had. This is the fail that happened. I've just already removed the two. This is the three that I still need to remove. It's just not getting together. I am eventually going to have to remove the three before I sleep because I can't go to, to the office looking like this. I'm just going to buff my nails so that they look clean cut. And buff and that's it and the other issue I'm having which I think I have decided and I'm okay with the decision that I want to cut my hair sorry my bra yeah that I want to cut my hair I don't know I'm just one I just don't have time to to be fixing <laughs> this hairline I think that the best way to fix it is to just cut this hair so that my hair can grow together for the first time hopefully it's going to grow together because I've never been a person that has an issue with hairline but again we grow we evolve our bodies go through a lot our hair and whatnot so it could also be that I don't know 
but look at this you can ignore this these are great things from this now just look at this and i think it's getting worse it's just not getting any better and on this side but you see even here i i feel like cutting my hair is just the best option i have organized a cutting machine because i don't like going to the salon to be honest so i've organized someone to bring me a machine so that i can just cut this hair off well i'm not gonna do it myself i've asked someone to actually cut my hair hopefully um that's not gonna be a problem and yeah so i can just have hair that's fresh and the unfortunate part of just spending a lot of money doing my hair having to relax it and um putting on the the sew in but i don't regret that at that time that's what i wanted it worked for me for some time but now i just want to cut and start my hair from scratch so yeah that's the update and you saw i ended up eating kfc now it is later on in the day and in the morning i had a smoothie and then during the day i had kfc but now i feel like having sushi but i just don't want to be driving around trying sushis that might not work for me so also i feel like if i can just buy a packet of lays or simba that could be perfect for the night and maybe just have a two slices of bread with fried egg uh, to be honest i feel like having that and maybe i should do that and it's five past going to 10 past seven pick and pay is closing at eight so i need to make a decision um it's still very warm as in it's hot outside but it's not as hot as it was during the day let me just quickly check oh it's 33 degrees now and you can just imagine 33 degrees after seven o'clock but inside the house it's very really cool so i'm okay and yeah it's just one of those decisions that i have to make in terms of cutting this hair because it's not working for me and to be honest now i was at a point where i was planning to buy a product for my hairline and reality is i'm one person that is very lazy to when it comes to having a specific product that i have to remember not to forget to apply and hoping that it's going to give me the results that i'm looking for and that whole entire time of having to wait to see the results sometimes for me i just never have patience for that and and to be honest it's not the right thing in life you just have to have patience for whatever you want because life does not just revolve around me but i mean in the case of my hairline it's something that's in my control in terms of if i put in the work if i become consistent in terms of applying it i might get the results that i want sooner or whatever the case is but yeah i know it's not that 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 deep now i'm starting to talk about consistency patience in life but yeah a reality is that in life you have to apply patience so let me just sort out my life and see what i'm gonna eat and we'll probably talk tomorrow mm -hmm.